did make contact with somebody from the Democratic National Committee's office, and they've been served. Democracy has prevailed today. But in a bizarre twist of events on August 2nd, less than one month after serving the subpoena, Lucas was reported dead. Police are not releasing the cause of death at this time and are not commenting on speculation that Lucas was murdered. His unusual and sudden death is fueling speculation about the recent death of Seth Conrad Rich. Rich, a DNC employee, was working on several committee cases involving voter and election fraud before he was murdered by gunshots. He was also set to testify in the FBI's email investigation of Hillary Clinton before he was killed. Authorities have ruled his death as a robbery gone wrong, but police records indicate nothing was stolen from Rich. His recent mysterious deaths appear to be something stranger than fiction. Rich's murder made national news because of his job with the Democratic National Committee as the director of voter expansion data. That was just a robbery, I believe, wasn't it? No, it's, there's no finding. So, uh, that's what are you the suggesting? Sort of, what are you suggesting? What? I'm suggesting that our sources uh, take risks and they, are, they become concerned uh, to see things occurring uh, like that. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean... Our sources face serious risks. But it's quite and, something to suggest a murder. So That's basically what you're doing. We are investigating to understand uh, what happened uh, in that situation with Seth Rich. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean... The Seth Rich case has just exploded back into the headlines with Julian Assange's assertion that Seth Rich was the WikiLeak responsible for bringing down the DNC chair and exposing the rigged Democratic primary. That makes two murders in recent weeks that have been directly linked to events at DNC headquarters in Washington, D.C. Not only that, but we now know that Seth Rich wasn't just a staff member at the DNC as was widely reported. He was the director of voter expansion data, which means he had the electronic keys to the entire Democratic organization. As for the motives of his leak, it would seem that Seth Rich was a Bernie Sanders supporter who felt betrayed by the primary rigging, and so he leaked what he could to show that Hillary had stolen the nomination. This picture shows Seth Rich at the scene of the crime only a few blocks away from a trauma center. They had the time to string crime tape around his body, but they didn't have the time to travel three blocks to the emergency room to save his life. How many crimes does Hillary have to commit before the Department of Justice does its job? If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.